What's up guys? Your vaping Holly has came back. Um, we're gonna be talking about another device today. Another one, another one. And um, it's going to be the Evic Mini Tron Edition. All right, this thing is a 75 watt device, single battery. Um, it comes with a pretty good amount of coils. I think it comes with like three or four coils. Um, the coils are not for vapor production though. I'll go ahead and take this device apart for you guys real quick so you can see. The coils are really, really small. Um, that's how big they are. It comes with a couple of temperature control um, coils and it also comes with a Canthal coil as well. So you get best of both worlds. You get to use temperature and um, regular power control coils. So I'll go ahead and I'll go over everything. I'll show you how to use the device and all that stuff. And uh, we'll start doing that right after I pop this battery in. All right, so this is your main screen. As you can see, it goes up to 75 watts. I was correct. I thought I was lying to myself, but I guess not. All right, so what you want to do is if, when you want to change settings, you want to click this button three times. One, two, three. And then the top is going to start blinking. And what you do is you use this button on, over here on the right, and you click it, and you got your bypass mode, Temp TI, Temp NI, Temp Stainless Steel, and then back to power mode. So, depending on what kind of coil you put in the device, make sure that you're on that setting. Don't use a nickel coil in a stainless steel setting. Don't use a titanium in a nickel setting. Don't use Canthal wire in a temperature control setting. So make sure that you look at your coil. There's a little, little writing on the coil that says like TI or NI200. Make sure that whatever is on that coil is the setting that you're on in your device. All right. Um, if you click the power button or the wattage up and the wattage down button at the same time, it goes into what's called key lock. So let's say this is in your pocket and you actually hit a button, your your wattage isn't going to change. All right. So we're going to take that off. Hold the plus and minus button at the same time. If you hit the wattage down button and the fire button, you hold them down at the same time, it goes into stealth mode. So basically what stealth mode is, is um, when you fire the device, like you push the fire button, the screen's not gonna turn on. All right, so don't, that's like a battery saver kind of thing. Um, the screen's pretty big, it's nice and bright, easy to read, I like it. Um, it feels pretty good in the hands. Um, to me, they could have went a little bit more ergonomical with this because it's kind of boxy. You kind of get this little curve right here embedded into your into your palm, and it doesn't. It's it's comfortable, but it's not really comfortable. You know what I mean? Um, the airflow on this tank is pretty decent. It's more or less of a of a, of a restricted, not necessarily restricted mouth to lung, but a restricted lung hit. So you're not gonna get a. <sighs> It's not going to be quick like that. It's going to be a little bit restricted. Um, the airflow is right on the bottom right here. You can't really see it because you see this little lip. That's where the air goes into. So it goes down into the lip, up through the coil, up to the chamber, up to your mouth. So this is how you adjust your, your airflow. You just twist this bottom portion. Perfect amount of restrictedness. Feels really good. Um, it actually locks. So when you twist it all the way to the left, it locks in place. So you can't turn it anymore. Twist it all the way to the right, it locks. You can't move it anymore. Um, it fires down to 0.1 in, in, a, uh, in uh, wattage mode. Um, this is your USB cable for charging. Don't recommend charging it through this. I recommend taking your battery out and using a smart charger. Um, for those of you guys who are not really keen on battery charging, um, you can charge it through this USB port, but you don't necessarily want to because it's basically the same thing as charging your phone. You know how when you overcharge your phone over time, the battery life starts depleting and your, your battery life is shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter? Well, this is the same thing. If you use this charger to charge your batteries, your battery life is going to deplete. But if you use a battery charger, a smart battery charger, like dot 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 like this guy 
basically what that is is once your battery is fully charged it's going to stop pushing power to the battery so it's not going to overcharge your battery so it saves battery life which is a good thing um, that's about it um, also you can use another tank on here if you want screw it off 510 connection so if you guys who want the Vengeance or the Spire or the Atlantis or uh, an RTA or RDTA, you can put them on here. Um, this is a 22 millimeter device, so for all you 24 millimeter freaks out there, there is going to be a little bit of an overhang on the sides here, just to let you know. Um, that's about it. Um, don't forget, vape strong. Uh, do your part to help save vaping, and I will see you guys next video.